What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to integrate x times cosine squared x dx. I will use integration by parts here and I will use some trig identities. So first of all, cosine squared x, I need to somehow change it. You know, cosine from double angle, we know cosine 2x will be cosine squared x minus sine squared x and we know sine squared plus cosine squared is going to be 1 therefore I can say instead of sine I can write 1 minus cosine squared x so after that we can say it will be equal to negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared x then we can say we can move it over there and we can say cosine squared x will be 1 over 2 times 1 plus cosine 2x so now I'm gonna sub it in the equation so I have x times 1 over 2 1 plus cosine 2x dx then I will have 1 over 2 x dx plus 1 over 2 x times cosine 2 x dx. So the integration of the first one is going to be 1 over 2 x squared over 2. And for the second one, I need to use the integration by part so I consider u as x and dv becomes cosine 2x dx so du will be dx and v will be 1 over 2 sine 2x because when you do the derivative it's going to be cosine 2x dx yep and then I'm going to sub it here I will have 1 over 2 which is this one times u times v which is x times 1 over 2 sine 2x minus v du 1 over 2 sine 2x dx and after that I will simplify it here we have x squared divided by 4 2 times 2 is 4 and then these two make it together is going to be 1 over 4 so it's x over 4 sine 2x and here integration of this part is going to be 1 over 2 I take it out and it's going to be 1 over 2 cosine 1 over 2 actually is sine right it's going to be It's going to be negative cosine because here we have integration of sine. That's going to be negative cosine 2x. Now it's correct. Then plus c. So here we simplify. It's going to be x squared divided by 4 plus x divided by 4 sine 2x minus times minus. It's going to be plus 1 over 4 times this 1 over 2 here so we have 1 over 4 here so it's going to be 1 over 8 because we have one of them and the other one in here and when you integrate it it's going to be another half half times half times half is going to be 1 over 8 cosine 2x plus c so this is the final answer to this question I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day.